Howdy, everybody. Welcome to the first video in the fuselage series. There will be a few of these. There is a lot to do with the fuselage, but here we go. <coughs> Starting on the fuselage. So that's where we're at. Um, this is the first section of the fuselage. Um, just deburring stuff, so that's where I'm at. And just so you guys can see me take off the blue tape, um, I will show you a couple seconds of that, and then it magically will all be primed and deburred. See how quick that was? Boom! All of that, that most of the work is deburring and getting that stupid blue stuff off, um, and then priming it, so that was like, you know, two days worth of work right there in all of 30 seconds. So this is the fuselage. It's section 25. Um, and this is the part that hooks to one of the, um, there's two basically I beams that kind of the, the sandwich the, that are like the, the bread to the sandwich for the wing spars. Um, and so that's basically what I'm working on here is the, the section that fits behind that. The top part of this is where the seats will actually lean up against just to give you a kind of an idea of where it's at in the plane. Um, and then the spar part actually fits up in front of this one. Um, if you're faced, depending upon which way you're facing, right? It's behind it if you're looking you know, from the front back, but it's in front of it if you're looking from the back front. Um, and you don't necessarily attach that top piece um, right now. You just Clico it in so it kind of holds it square, um, and you attach the um, extra brackets, and that is where your um, rear wing um, attach point, there's that one pretty thick aluminum piece at the, you know, not the wing spar, but where the wing, the, the rear of the wing, I mean, that actually attaches to the holes um, that you're put, you know, that you're the reinforcement, the holes in the reinforcement that you're doing right there. Um, and then you just rivet it together. It's not too difficult. Um, there are a couple things where I had to change the um, yoke I was using to make sure it could reach. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty standard operating procedure for most of the stuff. Not a whole lot going on there. Um, they are, most of the stuff so far in the fuselage has been the 470 rivets. Um, instead of the countersunk, countersunk rivets, it's the, um, has the shop head on it. Um, which, I don't know, kind of make it easy to line up on, if you ask me. I mean, you just kind of put it on there and it slides right in and then you squeeze it. It's pretty easy. And there, that bracket is what holds the, the rear part of the wing on that I'm reaming out right now. And so using the reamer, I think it's the um, 3 8 inch reamer. I'm not sure which one you can look at the instructions. So you know what is happening here. <coughs> Very first section of the fuselage section is the bulkhead piece where your seats will sit up against. Um, and it actually holds the rear um, spar of your um, wing actually hooks on there. So that's the first section. We're about halfway done. We're, yeah, I guess we're more than half, three quarters of the way done anyway. That's where we're at. Okay, just to keep you guys updated on where we're at in the instructions, I figured I would start including kind of just a quick video uh, with the instructions and what I was doing. So I just finished in what you just saw was me completing this page um, in the instructions. It's page 25-02. And then you will see me continue on working on this page. Let me get it lined up for you. There you go. Um, this is what I will be working on here in the next part of this video. And this is page 25-03 in the instructions. So there you go.
So yeah, I've had a couple of people mention, hey, where are you in the instructions? Like what, what's going on? And so I will start including the instructions, just a brief little, here's the page I'm on and what I'm working on kind of thing in each of the videos. But as you can see right here, um, basically what you're doing is building the brackets that will hold the um, your control yoke. Um, it will, it, it's the bracket that will hold the aileron and the rudder. I, actually, I think that one's the rudder um, to push tube. So, you know, it's pretty simple putting those together. It'll have a little bearing in there that your push tube will actually attach to, and then you're good to go. Um, so while I have you here, though, I will share a joke because that's what I do here. So my first one, I have two, and they are both pretty bad, but I'll let you be the judge. So how does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. <laughs> Eclipse it. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. But this one's even better. Okay. <laughs> so what did the zero say to the eight? That belt looks good on you. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh. oh, bad jokes. I love them. There you go. So Brad's helping me out now on this part. Um, I have to be honest. Brad and I usually just chat more than we work. And that's kind of cool. Um, so it's fun to have Brad over. He helps out a lot. And it's great to catch up with him. We catch up about every other week or every fourth week. Because I have every other Friday off. And so Brad comes over. It's kind of kind of nice. He's a great friend. Um, you will notice the bolts. So notice my pink bolts. Um, and what I did, instead of using the bolts that came in the kit, because those are compression bolts, right? So when you, when you actually tighten the nut on them, you're supposed to torque them down. Um, but it, it says in the instructions not to final torque those things. Um, so I went and bought similar size bolts so the four the five or the three or whatever they were and the nuts from ace hardware they were not very expensive um and you could find the right size with the right nuts and everything um and then i painted them pink so i would know that those are not the actual production bolts they're just there to hold things together while I put stuff together. Um, and I talked with uh, George, George from the, you guys have seen him in the, um, when I went to the wiring class for the Garmin stuff, um, that video, George was in that video. He was there. He is a uh, one step ahead of me. So he's actually doing the finishing kit on his RV14. Um, but I talked with him and he had mentioned to make sure you get different bolts and different nuts that are not the ones that you're gonna put in there finally because they have you put them in to position things and then take them out to put other things in. And you, what you don't want to be doing is taking, un, you know, undoing the, um, the lock nuts after you've already locked them in place because if you do that then you're just going to go have to buy new lock nuts um so just a helpful tip just go get you know eight or ten of each of the sizes with their nuts and you'll be fine go to like i went to ace hardware because they had the fine thread bolts um which i think well my opinion is Get the fine thread ones because then you could actually use the bolt, the nuts for the, the production bolts if you wanted to have the production bolts in there instead of using temporary bolts. You could just get the fine um, nuts like on the back there and you could actually use the product like the real bolts and just put the 
other nuts on them. That would work, I guess, too. But half a dozen of one, six of the other. Um, just go get yourself some some bolts that will fit in there that are the right size, and then you should be good to go. And so here, all you're doing is basically attaching. So this is the um, back um, spar of the fuselage. So there's one that actually fits in front of that as well. So there's two that are together. They're, they're not bolted together. There's a space in between them. And that's where your wings fit in as they slide in between this spar and the one that fits in front of it. Um, and this is basically your seat is in between this spar and the, um, the bulkhead that I built at the beginning of this video, just so you have some kind of idea. So this is the, the rear spar of the fuselage and behind it is you actually sit kind of on top of this one um, and then the rear um, bulkhead is where the backs of your seat are and those kind of get put together you'll see those in upcoming videos where how it all fits together it's pretty pretty easy um, and all of those are really easy just to lock i mean you just sit there and fuck your Buck until your heart's content and you should be good to go. But there's not a lot else to do with this one. Is All it is is attaching those posts. And that's pretty much it. As always, have fun. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share these videos with your friends. Later.